Okay, so what you have is you have a window which is being supported by cable and there is a force in the cable with magnitude as 30 newton. So the question is to find the length of the cable that's one part and then the second part of the problem is to express the 30 newton force in Cartesian flex form. So this problem is in two parts. It's the force to meet the length going from this point all the way to that point, and then we need the force factor for this force. Okay, so if I look at the problem, then we have the force magnitude that's given as 30 newton. Then the force is going from A to B. We also have the coordinates, or we can find the coordinates for points A and B. The B is easy to work with because we have 0 for the X, B is 0. So it's in a YOZ plane, then you have YB, that this length, so that's going to be 150 millimeters, then we got CB, and that's going to be this length, and that becomes 250 millimeters. So that's the coordinates of point. P. Then we need the coordinates for point A. Now, <coughs> point A is going to be a little bit trickier. So, what you have is you have uh, this is your X or Y plane, then the window is tilted or rotated by an angle of 30 degrees. So, <coughs> the same, the length here. It's going to be the same length to here. So one coordinate would be, let's say if I look at YA. YA is going to be this length, which is also 500 millimeters. So that's just one coordinate. Then to find the two other coordinates, this point could be considered as here. 
So what, whatever like, the projection of this is this here. So I could take an arrow going in that direction. That's along the x-axis. Then I could take another arrow going in the z-direction. Step back to the opposite of z-direction. You know this length. So if you want to look at this triangle by itself, looking for y-axis, the whole thing will look like this. Where this is your x or the length along x direction, that's the length along the y direction, this angle being 30 degrees, this length being 300 millimeters. So the length here, uh, this angle being 90 degrees. So this length here is simply 300 cosine of 30. Then the perpendicular is 300 sine of 30. So that gives you the raw length. It gives you the length along x axis and it gives you the length along y axis. Now, for the coordinates, we need to find it xA. That is going along the x axis. It's positive x. So I can use the number of 300 to find 30 for the x coordinate. Then for the z coordinate, I can use the length 300 sine 30. Except the arrow is pointing in the negative z direction. So this coordinate will be with a negative sign. And that's all we need. We need the coordinates for A and B to form both of those. Then your force factor, the one we're looking for, first of all, the length is going to be RAB. That's the length we're looking for. And we're looking for the force factor. And that's going to be force magnitude multiplied by our unit vector going from A to B and that's going to be up R A B the vector by itself divided by its magnitude. So we need the vector R A B as well as the magnitude for that vector. So let's look at R A B vector itself and that's going to be the coordinate of the tip which is the B minus X A times of I plus Y B minus Y A times the J plus Z B minus Z A times the J. The exact equation I just gave a minute ago and make substitution we have zero minus the cosine here that's three hundred cosine thirty times of I then you have let's say Y B which is one fifty minus of five hundred that's times the J. Then we have the third one which is two fifty minus, then you have another minus, which is 300 sine of 30 times of k. So your vector by itself comes out to be 259.8 and it's one and i negative k50 times of J plus 400 of K. So that's the position vector AB. This here, you know, the P is R, AB, the X component. This here is R, AB, 
the y component this here is r a b the c component so the length it means the length r a b that simply is going to be square root of r a b x which happened to be negative 259.81 take a square on that plus we have the r a b the y component and that's negative 350 you take a square on that then you have the third one which is r a b and z that's 400 take a square on that just the course of each component you add all those together so this comes out to be 591.61 and that's going to be in millimeters so we got the length we got the position vector and we know the magnitude so I can just use this equation for the force and that's going to be 30 we divide it by length which is 5 9161 and then I write this vector which is negative 25981i negative 350j plus 400k or the force vector which is f from that equation should be 30 negative 259.81 divided by 591.61 times of i plus 30 <coughs> minus 350 591.61 times of j plus 30 and this time you have 400 and 591.61 times of j just select multiplication from that equation and that should give you the required answer f as minus 13.2 i 17.7 j plus 20.3 j and all of this is in Newton so we just went through the case 3